Uh, Dave, last football topic. This is kind of a tag on to what we talked about last week. So Deshaun Watson, we know, wants to be traded. Uh, one team we didn't really talk about in that segment were the Dolphins because it, we did talk. I mean, it was one of those where it was it was kind of like, no, the Dolphins shouldn't. But now there's more chatter with him to the Dolphins. No, I did not. What? I, I'm pretty sure at the time it was there's no reason for them not to be interested. To me, it was more of a you got to a tongue of Viola. You know, you like you don't have to trade for Watson. You have to. Now people are thinking. Well, yeah, they should swap Tua for Watson. I will ask you, I know your answer now because you've kind of played your hand. Should the Dolphins flip Tua for Deshaun Watson? Hells yeah, you should flip Tua for... Hell yeah, okay. Deshaun Watson (laughs) is a supremely athletically talented quarterback who can Mm -hmm. make every throw, who has shown fourth quarter heroics, Mm -hmm. stuff that you don't get to see out of a guy called Tua Tungvalo because he gets benched in the fourth quarter so you can bring in the fucking beard. Mm -hmm. Like... That's one thing right out the gates that you have the confidence in a known talent. Tua could be great. He could be terrible. You don't know. Right now, all that we know is he can complete a five-yard out route really well. Mm-hmm. That's that's the extent of what I know about Tua Tungavailoa. Like, he had one game in which he showed that he could make all the throws. Since that game, he has not shown dick. So mm-hmm. I'm at that point where I'm taking Tua, shipping him with my first-round pick early, with a second round pick, with a future first round pick, maybe a third to get him over so I can get back to Sean Watson because that is how you move forward as a franchise. Mm -hmm. You are already a very good team this year. Congratulations, Miami. You had a fantastic season. You overachieved from a lot of people's standpoints. You were right on par with where I said you'd be, though. That's Mm -hmm. what counts, that I was right. (laughs) Um, I know that means a lot to you. Where Dave was right. There we go. Um but not for the reasons I thought. Love mm-hmm. how that happens. I do think that Deshaun Watson is a better football player. You take the known quantity. That's like people who were like, who would you rather have today? Uh, Trevor Lawrence or uh, our boy Air Bear? Mm-hmm. The answer is Air Bear. He just had a fucking phenomenal season and it looks like he will be a star quarterback for the next decade plus. I'm yeah, going to take the guy who but- can do it against guys who are in the NFL versus the guy who might be the best prospect I mean, since ever. That that answer could change in a year. Like that's why I feel it's like that question today, the answer is mm-hmm. Air Bear. It's Justin Herbert. And that's why today when he asked me, do mm-hmm. I want Tua or do I want Deshaun Watson? I'm taking Deshaun Watson ten out of ten times. And I was a Tua guy during the weeks when mm-hmm. we were talking about Tua versus Fitzy, I was riding the Tua fucking I was right at the front of that parade, man. And that's why with me I think that there's there's a little bit more that plays into this question because the only reason why the Jets aren't in the, or not the Jets, we're just talking about the Jets, why the Mm -hmm. Dolphins are not in the same position that the Washington football team is in right now is because they made the trade for, or basically they traded Laramie Tunsil to the Texans um, and got their pick. If If the Dolphins do not have the third overall pick right now, we are looking at this very differently because they're not going to get like, they're not either going to get Devonta Smith or Penny Sewell at uh, three. They're not going to have the option to, Hey, we can take Sewell at three because we can get a wide receiver at 18, or we could take a wide receiver and get um, a tackle or a guard um, later at 18. Like the only reason is they have two picks. And for me, it's, I, and I love the Lawrence, air bear question you bring up because it's do you want to go for the right now or do you want to build for the future because i feel like proven i I feel like coming into this year it was they got to build for the future have a solid year this year no one was thinking 10 and 6 dave was the only one riding that bandwagon that i saw um i had them a lot less i think i had them five or i think six wins at the most I think I probably have them four or five wins. Um, but it's something to where we, we had low expectations coming in. Expectations are now higher because of what they did this year. And for me, I can't put my finger on whether adding Deshaun Watson makes this team a bona fide contender for a Super Bowl in the AFC. Like the question I have to ask myself is 
Deshaun Watson on the Dolphins, A, makes them a playoff team. That's for damn sure. But are they going to be in the territory that the, like, Browns, Ravens, and Titans are in? Where you may win a wild card game, you may lose a wild card game, but when you get to the divisional playoffs, you'll lose, which I feel like the Ravens will be in, the Browns will probably be in, although I will be rooting for the Browns against the Chiefs. Like, to me, it comes down to, and this is the question I have, is next season with Deshaun Watson, yes, this team can add some stuff in free agency and that changes things. Mm -hmm. Can this team with Deshaun Watson beat the Bills and the Chiefs if they have to in the playoffs and win three games if they have to in the playoffs? I think they absolutely could. I think they address the running back position. I think their defense is excellent, but they can continue to tack on there. Uh, Offensively, they've got great tight ends. I expect them to add, you know, another weapon at the wide receiver position, not an Mm -hmm. early pick, but like a a mid round pick on the wide receiver, take a shot on somebody that adds some more firepower to that team. But like, Mm -hmm. this is a very good, well-rounded roster already. And I think that adding Deshaun Watson absolutely puts them in the conversation you know, with what we're seeing of the Steelers being dead, yeah, like just dead, I think they could be the third best team in the AFC. Yeah, I, I think see they that could too. jump the Ravens because mm-hmm. I like Deshaun Watson more than I like Lamar Jackson. I like what's going on in Miami. They're on the upswing, whereas mm-hmm. no offense to the Ravens, like this is this is very much a we're trying to prove we're legit because this is the first year we've won the playoffs uh, moment mm-hmm. for them. So, you know, we'll see, but. I just think that Deshaun Watson has such an it factor to his game. Mm-hmm. He has the ability to extend plays, make throws that are just insane. He has the balls to make those throws where you're like, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. He has those kind of plays, mm-hmm. and that gets you everywhere in the playoffs. Yeah. He- that is that is one thing that makes him special. That's why I think that taking him and putting him on this team that already won 10 games – I think mm-hmm. it elevates that to being in that fight for three, four in the AFC. Here's the only problem with it is I agree with you that record wise with Deshaun Watson, um, the Dolphins could be the third best team record wise. Here's the problem with the standings though. They're in the bills division. I think this year yet again, I have to like the bills have to play up to where I think they're going to be. I think this team is going to the super bowl. When they go to the super bowl, people's eyes are going to be opened of even if they lose in the super bowl, people are going to be like, wow, this bills team, fucking might be for real. Now, if they lose Brian Dabble this off season, that may hurt the offense. Let's it's see what rich. happens there. Um, but this bills team is going to be good. They are going to be my favorites to win the division next year. So the dolphins might be in a situation where it's like, all right, we've got the third best record. We're 12 and four, but because we're not a division winner, we're fifth. So we have to go to, Basically, either I'll ask you Baltimore or Cleveland, who you put the odds on to be the favorite next year, Baltimore to win the division because the Steelers fall back or do the Browns have a better year than they did this year? They that the Ravens and Browns were tied record wise, basically. So it's a I shoot. have a hard time answering that question. I don't yeah. know yet. Sake of Baker, Baker, Ravens have issues to answer at wide yeah. receiver. We'll see. For the sake of argument, let's say it's Baltimore. Like, let's sure. say Baltimore's f- what? Baltimore's four, <laughs> and then Tennessee is uh, – they win again in their three. That means at five, the Dolphins would then have to go to a game in Baltimore, which I think they could win that one. But it's – the thing that's going to be hard for the Dolphins, unless they are sure that they can win the division, is they'll have to go on the road in week one, on the road in week two, on the road in week three, which has been done before – but it's very hard to do. And I feel like, yes, the timeline might make sense for Watson to be in Miami and Tua to be in Houston, but there's also a part of me of the Dolphins of, do we for sure, because of this year, jump on it and go, yes, we need to get in there, or is it a, nope, we're going to play this one easy, we're going to keep our picks, we're going to play it smart, and we're going to develop with Tua. Because I feel like Tua could be their quarterback of the future, but I do agree that Deshaun Watson elevates them instantly next year to be someone that can fight in the playoffs. What else do they need for a team to fight in the playoffs? Like, that's my question is like, Mm -hmm. 
what is the gap outside of quarterback that Miami needs to address? Obviously, they trade away a good corner. They can go get another corner. It's mm-hmm. not really a problem. Like you said, they have draft capital, uh, even outside of the trade. So, like, where are they falling short? Is it just that you think Deshaun Watson's not a better quarterback? Do you think that overall they don't have the talent to overcome mm-hmm. what the Bills, who I think have overachieved this year, or they're just a juggernaut that is the fucking Chiefs. I just, I feel like the team around Deshaun Watson will be like, because I look at their wide receivers and it's like, if they get an Allen Robinson, that changes things because he's better than all the wide receivers they have. I haven't been really ever high on Devonta Parker. I don't think he's the number one wide receiver that they need. Gasecki's good. good. Um, I like Miles Gaskin, Washington guy, got to rep him, but, uh, I feel like they can up the running back position, like having a running back yet again. He missed some games this year um, because of the injury, but it's like you need a running back that's going to be more than a 580-yard guy um, to basically be successful. So, like, for me, it's like, yet again, are they going to – and there's some running backs in this draft that I like, like maybe in the third round if they get a Chubba Hubbard, who – Oklahoma State Cowboy, who – I really liked last year, um, came back for another year, and this year played three games before sitting out the season. Um, JD and I were just talking about him last night. If they fall into one of him, he could be something special, but it's just a – if you get Deshaun Watson, it puts pressure. What? They could get Aaron Jones. Jones. What? What if they just sign Uh, Aaron Jones? What if? I thought – your microphone cut out a little bit, and I thought you said just signed Aaron Jones. I was like, wait, he's still on the Packers. You're right, though. If they do sign Aaron Jones, that change, like, yet again, free agency changes these discussions, but, like, right at this moment, I wouldn't make a trade if I'm Miami. Wait how free agency goes, see what you even get, see if guys actually want to come play for you, because I know the weather's nice, but yet again, it could be a situation, it could be a situation where teams look at them and then go, no, nah, I'm not that confident. I'm going to go over here. Like, I mean, yeah, don't don't play for one of the best coaches in the NFL, someone who turned around a franchise in two years, mm-hmm. and someone who's done nothing but piss excellence. That's that's probably what I would say. I don't want to keep more money because I'm playing in Florida. Uh, that, that that all seems like a terrible situation to me. I, I, I'm i not fa- favorable there. I'm going to play in, uh, in Chicago probably instead and just hate my life when it comes to the month no, of I'm December. Not, I'm not saying Chicago, Dave. I mean, Flor- Detroit, Florida. play for a Florida does have a lot of benefits to it. It would be smart to go there, but if there is another team that is a playoff team and X player thinks that's a better situation than Miami, because the thing that a free agent will have to answer is how much of a fluke was this season? Like the dolphins are going to need another season to show. Was this a fluke or was it not a fluke? With two quarterbacks. Mm Mm-hmm. Could you imagine if they had someone who is a all fucking NFL caliber quarterback? Mm-hmm. Like we're talking about one of the best young rising stars in the NFL. Jake is just and you're like, no, nah, don't Saints. go all in on him. Uh, I'm ignoring Saints, that Saints, idiot Saints. chat. <laughs> that idiot in chat. Uh, but Dave, any final thoughts on this? Because I feel like saying the Bears shouldn't try to get to Sean Watson. Like, nah. We need. We got some other holes. Let's, let's address the other holes in the team, guys. We don't really need to go get a quarterback. Uh, we don't want to. Oh. We don't want to drop in early. I think the Bears' situation is a little bit different because, uh, uh, yeah, I'm I, gonna I, fucking ban Jake in about a minute here. He's not gonna get on the show. Don't hate the truth. Uh, I just I look at the Bears and that's a situation where uh, we have a great defense like Miami that's getting we wasted. Have a it has some talent to it, mm-hmm. but not enough talent. We need to address the offensive it's your line. Your coach and GM, that's the problem. Like that's they have those. That's what I'm saying. Like I would still have yeah. a left nut to get to Sean Watson. <laughs> I don't understand why you think Miami is like, nah, two will be fine. He'll figure it out in year two. I just I think two will get better in year two. That's my question. If you don't want, oh no, it's gonna happen. Uh, oh, so the miners fall? Yeah. Is if that you what don't, it's doing? Yep. Yeah, okay. Hold it up. I gotta put down this. Uh, <laughs> if you don't think that you need to go get Deshaun Watson, how are you going to address the problem of Tua not having the confidence to throw downfield, mm-hmm. not having the footwork to throw off of his both feet and, st- and throw into things instead mm-hmm. of throwing off 
back foot and being wildly inaccurate when he does try to throw downfield. I feel like we are over we are over magnifying the Tua can't throw downfield. I feel like with work, he can do that in the NFL because we saw him have big Sorry. plays. You're fine. We saw him have big plays in college. The only reason why I'm iffy about this goes down to the, yet again, whether you do it or don't do it for the Dolphins, it is a risk. It is a calculated risk either way because there's one, there's two alternate futures. There's He's one the Sean Watson franchise quarterback. I would say two is more of the franchise quarterback than Deshaun Watson. And here's wow. why. And, and here's why. Fucking wow. Like I said, there's two alternate futures or alternate realities. There's a reality where they trade for Deshaun Watson and base or I'm sorry, four technically. There's the trade for Deshaun Watson, the two things that could happen. Either it pans out, they go really far, Deshaun Watson does great, they have playoff success, possibly even a Super Bowl. That's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario then is Deshaun Watson doesn't win anything. They go to the playoffs and lose in the playoffs a lot with Deshaun Watson. Tua flourishes with the Texans, and people are then looking. <laughs> Remember when they had Tua and they traded Tua for Deshaun Watson? Yet again, anything can happen. Or the other side where they keep Tua. They could keep Tua, and then people go, oh, man. Remember when they could have traded for Deshaun Watson and they didn't? Or the side where they keep Tua, and Tua flourishes with that team because they stuck with their guy, and then no one's thinking about it because Tua was successful. It's just which side do you have confidence in? And to and me, I don't even know the, like developing than you do into Sean Watson being highly successful. Yes. I have more confidence in Tua developing overall than I do in Deshaun Watson coming in because I feel like after this season, people are going to take the bills a lot more seriously and the bills are going to cock block. Bills, no, no, no. It's important though, because I feel like what I was going to say is, the Bills will cock block the Dolphins like the Patriots cock block the Bills. That's I don't what think I feel like. Better than any other fucking team in the league. I think that this is an excellent year for them, and I think it's wonderful that you know Stefan Diggs unlocked the ability for mm-hmm. Josh Allen to throw the ball deep at a historic rate. I feel like they're better than the Dolphins, better. even with Deshaun Watson. That's my I think problem. We'll balance out. I think Deshaun Watson on the Miami Dolphins, plus the additions they will get in free agency in the draft, will mm-hmm. put them in a position where they can compete for a fucking top slot and be a continual playoff team. And again, Deshaun Watson, again, Mm -hmm. a top, top fucking quarterback in the NFL. Tua Tungavailoa, you're going to literally have the argument about like what you, what you framed earlier, like Mm -hmm. literally seconds ago was like the, like, Oh man, remember when the bears could have drafted a quarterback who wasn't Mitch Trubisky. They're going to have to hear that conversation every fucking game because like, remember when we could have got Deshaun Watson that that's going to be bad. Like I said, that's one of the realities. Like be- to me, I don't know for sure. I don't have enough confidence in either okay. one panning out in either Tua being the guy that Deshaun wins a Super Bowl or, or Deshaun Watson winning a Super Bowl. I don't, I have quarterback Ricky. That's what, that's where my no, brain he, is short fucking wire. He is a, he is. But the thing is the price that you're going to have to give up for Deshaun Watson, because it's not going to just be Tua. It's going to be draft picks on top of it. I'm telling you, I don't got for Laramie Tunsil. So that's like free, but I'm I'm saying even with Deshaun Watson, I don't have the confidence in the dolphins overcoming the bills or the fucking chiefs in the playoffs. And at that point, no, no, no. Like you're going to try to do that. I'm just saying like, I don't see it happening to where Deshaun Watson makes this team better, but it only makes them better to fail in the end to where I feel like Tua, I feel like we're overreacting to Tua. Like Tua had one season. What rookie do you know that steps in after an injury that he had and is phenomenal right out of the gates? He got benched three times in one season. His coach has no confidence in him to yes. finish a game yes. because he that, has no confidence to throw the ball down the fucking that field. Is, that is more, I put that more on the coach, not putting the confidence in his player. team. Like, I put that more on the coach. You got to fucking coach your guy up so he has the confidence then. A guy you that's drafted at number five. If, if that's the case then, is are we going to hear that Flores didn't want Tua and the Dolphins drafted Tua? Like, is that what we're going at here? Because if Flores was like, yeah, Tua would work here, then it's on the coach to build up the confidence of his player. That's all I'm saying. Like, yet again. 
on. I think it was just best I, to move on. It's good if the Dolphins trade for Watson. I just don't know if I pull that pin right now. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if I pull that deal right now. Um, Dave, time to call him the left. Time to bring him in. Dave's like, I'm leaving this call. I can't fucking believe the disrespect for Deshaun Watson. Jake, get in here. Uh, I'll, I'll move. Okay. Jake, I, I want to hear. I want to hear. Just end the segment, Jake. Hello. Am I in here? Am I on the? Uh, am, am I jump off the fucking deep end here? Okay. Okay. Let me just. Let me just, let me just wear this. What? <laughs> like I can't. I can't have a take here. I can't have. No, a no, take. No, no, no. You can have a take, but I'm just gonna. This is this is the classic like conversation of. This is uh, the fast break all over again. I get yeah, it. <laughs> it's the fast break all over again. It Ricky can't training. have an opinion no, of his I'm own. I'm gonna talk about no. I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's talking about potential versus current actual value. Yes. Watson is a top five quarterback yes, in the is. NFL, You're and right. he's under facts. the age of thirty. Yes, fact. You have a chance to get. It's my opinion. You yeah, can have a different fa- opinion. You're spitting facts right now. I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> if you have the chance at any point to trade for a top five quarterback under the age of 30, you give up whatever the fuck that team wants. Listen, and I know I'm going to bring the Saints up. If the Saints traded six first round picks for Deshaun Watson, I'd be like, all right, we're going to dominate the NFC for the next seven years. So, yes, I mean, but I'd you have it. Taysom Hill and Jameis Winston. Your quarterbacks suck compared to Tua. Uh, I mean, Taysom actually had better stats than Tua all year. Taysom, not a real that's quarterback. True. No, that's Ta- true, though. Ta- Taysom's, Taysom's a, bo- Taysom's a bona fide backup. Bona fide backup. I mean, so is Tua. He got benched four nope. times. Uh, one three, year, three, yet four, again, yeah, yet again. We're not going to see eye to eye here like Dave said. We're getting <laughs> off the Tua bandwagon after one year because no, what I'm fucking a rookie guy. is hitting one I'm year? Saying, I'm just saying you take the guy who has done it against professionals. Yes, yeah, versus yes. the guy who I'm has not saying screwed. it would be a dumb trade yeah. if they trade for Watson. Yeah. I just don't know if it helps them win a Super Bowl because of the teams ahead of them in the oh, AFC. God. That's all I'm saying. Do you think? Okay, but then what would be the value in keeping Tua at that point then? I feel like you can build a – you can – with this team, yet again, it's going to also determine, like I said, do free agents come to this team? They could, yeah. and if they do, then, yeah, Watson would be the what? best. But there's not yeah. a bona fide – like, we are not sure if free agents are going to go to Miami. We do yeah, not um, know that. We got to wait and see. They've been pretty good the last – they've been pretty good the last couple years. All I'm saying is we got to wait and see. I don't oh, pull I agree. the trigger right I'm now. A two guy. I'm going a... off like it's crazy weekend here. I'm it on the – no, I am on the two of Bama. I love to. I loved him since his first year at Alabama. But Deshaun Watson is a top five quarterback. You go get him. Yes. Will Fuller might follow him to Miami. And then you got a oh, look. You actually got a receiver. It's like, it's just, it's just like, I hope they don't trade for him because then the Saints can. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, keep Tua. Go All Miami. Right. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>